Mr. Gilligan. I'm Veronica Guerin from the Sunday Independent. I'd like to ask some questions about your property ownership, including this lovely equestrian centre you've got here. You could start by telling me where you get the money. You know why I'm successful, Johnny? I lead a quiet life. Nobody knows what I'm doing, and that's very good for business. When you talk to that bitch and when she writes about you, you feel like a movie star. I don't think she doesn't know how to use that, because she does. You're not as smart as you think you are. That makes you a liability. Remember this. If that bitch ever mentions my name, you pay. All operations are to be suspended from 12 o'clock tomorrow. Noon. Noon. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Why? We're close to a deal, Harry. Including the POWs? Including the POWs. So what are you offering, Joe? Hmm? Peace, Harry. Peace. <laughs> You are outmatched. <laughs> you have no heavy cavalry. In two centuries, no army has won with us. I'm not finished. Before we let you leave, your commander must cross that field, present himself before this army, put his head between his legs, and kiss his own arse. All you had to do was walk across a prison corridor and shake hands with some of your old friends in the IRA. Snubbing people is not nice. But you never named names, and that's why you're a healthy man, understand? Those little boys could get you into a lot of trouble. Thank you. I'm sure you've made copies. No. I am honorable. But I am watching. We have something on all of you. If he appeals his case, he may win next time. Well, we'll make sure that never happens.